Hi, this is Maya with RICO. This video is Structured Analytics and Near Duplicate Identification. Structured Analytics is a tool in Relativity that analyzes your structured data. So that'll be the extracted text, the to's, the from's, the cc's, and other metadata found in your documents. We're going to talk about Near Duplicate Identification in specific. What this does is Relativity will categorize your documents and organize them into groups of documents that are similar with their extracted text. The process is run in the Structured Analytics Set tab. You can see the various types of structured analytics we have. Now this is different than the concept analytics which makes an index of your documents based on conceptual ideas. This is actually a little more concrete. It takes into account the placement of words and it basically looks to see if there's new changes or words were added to a document um, across documents. So it's very useful, for example, to look at different versions of contracts. Um, it doesn't require an index. It's based on a saved search. And you can set a threshold of analysis between 80 and 100%. So when you work with your case admin to set this up, give them the world of documents you want to index, either a saved search, two saved searches compared to each other, or even the entire workspace, and tell them which threshold percentage from 80 to 100 you want to work with. Ours we've set up with 90%. Once the process is run, we go to our textual near duplicates view and we can see the documents have new fields populated. The textual near duplicate group field is populated with the principal document bed control number. So you can see here the principal or the largest document in the set, the largest text size is compared to all of these other documents and the bed control is populated in the textual near duplicate group field for each. This visualization also shows us this blue bar. This gives us a nice visual delineation of the groups in our list. Now the textual near duplicate principle is the next field and that's populated with yes for the largest document. If we had some different sizes here, let's go down to our next group. You can see here is our textual near duplicate similarity. Um, here, this is our principal. And here we have a percentage of similarity between the principal and all of these other documents. So this will be the largest size followed by the documents of smaller size that have the most textually similar values down to 90%. One thing to note, these non-principles are not compared against each other. They're only compared against the principal. So this percentage here is the percentage of similarity against the principal. Now, one additional field that is great to use is the document compare view. This is where you get to select a document you want to compare, and you get it in a pop-up window. And we select the document we want to compare it with from our pop-up. And once we select the compare button, this is relativity is going to superimpose the two documents on top of each other and illustrate which documents have changes where. Here's our key at the bottom. Blue is anything that's been inserted. Red is anything that's deleted. And the black values are anything that's unchanged. So from a workflow perspective, this is a great tool for finding documents that are useful and expanding your search to include additional records. 
going to navigate to my view where I've tagged a few documents that are useful to see. I want to find out a little more about them to see if there are other duplicates in the database. Now I'm going to use the related items pane and I'm going to include the plus near dupe groups. So much like when you add family to your search to see the complete family of records, you can select near dupe groups to return the duplicates within those groups. You can see here that my list has changed to 31 items and I can actually just click in and start reviewing these groups. You can do similar things where you're searching from the textual near duplicates view that we were just in and accomplish the very same results. So I'm going to click into this document and I'd like to show you the related items pane. So down here at the bottom, the icon on your database may be different, but this is our near dupe groups related items icon. When we select that button and we can resize it, this view looks very much like our near duplicates view. And this is where our um, review can just go through each of these individual records. So you don't even necessarily need to make a saved search to return these documents. You can actually just go into the document that is most interesting to you and click on the near dupe groups icon in your database and select the records you want to view. The compare feature works the same. And when you select the document you want to compare, it's going to compare that item with the record that you've already selected. So it's a little bit faster than doing it in the saved search view. So structured analytics can shorten your review time. It can help you improve coding consistency. So you can broaden your search to find that one privileged record that may have semi-duplicate counterparts, near duplicate counterparts. You can mass code them all at once with your mass action pane. You can optimize your batch sets by including duplicates within your batch sets, very much like you would include families for a first pass review. And you can use it to sort of organize your saved searches so that you're looking at one version or all of the versions of one document in a row for um, good comparison and sort of streamlining um, a contract review, for instance, or broadening your privilege search to make sure that you're getting all of these special privileged records marked as privileged. So that is Structured Analytics near duplicate identification. Thanks for joining me today. Happy reviewing.